<laughs> this is the intro. I just cough for five seconds. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Just like the, every time I watch a checking video, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for him to cough for five seconds. <laughs> and that is going to be the intro of the video, Rustage. So thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Teching and Rustage here. Barry's here Whoa! as well. Yeah. Wait, where am I on yours? On you in, like... are to the left of me, maybe the right. I don't know my directions. I, you know, that's not that fair. Great enough. At that. That's fair. <laughs> But, but I, I'm existing. Yes, yes. I just here. wondered if I would be able to touch Barry. Uh, you know what? Barry is actually... I have to pull him in close to me. Okay, so Barry is currently taking up my entire screen. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Right where you were doing just there. On oh, yeah. Your, yeah, right there. Right there. There you go. You're oh, yeah. Rub really that boy. <laughs> I'll try to get him as close as possible. All right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> If you uh, oh, yes, what a lovely boy. if you rub Barry, uh, you will receive a thousand years of good fortune uh, oh, and, and a wish. I as need, well. I need good fortune. You get a choice. You get a thousand years of good fortune, like general good luck, or you get one wish, like Dragon Ball, like Dragon kind of. Well, wish. I wish for a thousand years of good fortune. See, there you go. That's how you. <laughs> that's how you exploit the system there. Okay. <laughs> um. And anyway, so uh, my wish, by the way, was just to wish for a companion that was a brick. It was kind of a stupid wish to make. Oh, I thought you were going to say a companion that was a Brit. And I was like, I'm here. <laughs> there you I, are. I, right your there. wish has been granted. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Rustage is here helping me out. For anybody that doesn't know the backstory to this, the other day, uh, it was Sunday, and there's no One Piece uh, review or what, chapter because there's no Shonen Jump because of the Olympics. So I put out a poll on my Twitter like, hey, what am I going to be talking about? And Rustage, you tweeted what you tweeted about the ahead. fucking olympics yeah yeah just <laughs> talk about the on. olympics just, yeah. do, just have the at one piece characters in the olympics you, and i'm like you have a big brain yeah and i already did the ice cream video and ever since i did that ice cream video that was kind of the floodgates of like okay so he's just Are gonna make screaming? yeah just make fun little one piece videos yeah, you know fun one piece boy. i had a lot of fun making that video just of how it wasn't serious and it was just like a goofy little side thing so like why not so, uh, yeah, here we are today to discuss the Olympics. Have you watched the Olympics at all, Rustage? Oh, I've been watching a lot of the Olympics. Mm. Um, I got a little subscription so that I could watch all the games. I've been watching mostly volleyball and basketball, but I've also been watching skateboarding, badminton. That skateboarding uh, thing was crazy. I was just watching. Oh, awesome. I, I, I'm not streaming anything, but like just watching like YouTube clips when they were uploaded and stuff. And I was watching some BMX earlier, some gymnastic stuff. Uh, the skateboarding stuff crazy. was really cool. Is skateboarding always a thing at the Olympics? Because that Dude, the I'm, first year, first, first year. year I was gonna say I've never heard of this before, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that's why I'm really kind of excited to see this. Uh, spoiler alert, I want to put Brooke into skateboarding because I just want the idea of a skateboarding skeleton. That's the most I mean, badass thing cool. ever. <laughs> that's the coolest thing ever. You know? That's, that's not why I placed Brooke, but yeah, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I also wanted to bring up because uh, I live out in the middle of the country in the Appalachian Mountains, so I don't think the Olympics mm -hmm. will ever be coming to my area. Uh, but I know the 2012 Olympics were in London. So, yeah. yeah. Woo! Do you remember Love that? that. Do, you, do you have any fun yes. stories about that? Did you go see them or like what I was up? I didn't go see it. We okay. wanted we wanted to go see it, but we couldn't get tickets. Ah. Uh, Maybe I a little bit remember. of a hard hard to get into that, just I would imagine. Yeah. The, the, the general consensus before the Olympics happened was, oh, it's in London this year. We're going to fuck it up. It's going to be shit. <laughs> and then but surprisingly, we did a really good job, and everyone was collectively shocked. Oh, um, okay. Because our okay. opening ceremony was really good, and then everything ran really well. Yeah, and, and it, it was, was over. It was David, and then it was it, like it was David Tennant, the tenth Doctor, if I recall correctly, that carried the torch to the stadium. You never saw that episode of Doctor Who, did you? <laughs> the Queen like dive bombed from a helicopter. Holy crap! That's ceremony. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Well, that was when was she amazing. was in her eighties. You know, she could yeah, do she it could yet. do that. Yeah, she could yeah. do that. My grandfather just turned 99 this week, so that Congratulations, was, yeah, yeah. your I grandfather. I don't think he'll be dive-bombing out of helicopters anymore. He did that for his 95th birthday, but... But he, for his 99th, yeah. uh, he just dive out of, like, low-hanging <laughs> aircraft. Yeah, he has to glide. That's how he has to do it. Something I discovered before I started even, you know, writing down the Straw Hats, you know, um, sports, is back in 2018... Oda did, because I think that was the year it was announced that, you know, Tokyo was going to have the Olympics back in... Before. 2013. It was supposed was to be... The... Oh, wait, it was 2013? Yeah, because they do it... Yeah, 2013 was the year that Tokyo found oh. out that they had the Olympics. Okay, well... But regardless, regardless. Well, regardless, well, regardless, it was supposed to be last year. But, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. regardless, in 2018, Oda did a cover spread of the Straw Hats competing in various Olympic events. It's chapter... interesting, because they're, they're yeah. not, 
like a lot, uh, some of them are different than what you would expect. Yes, yes. It's chapter 912, so this was right after Wano started. Luffy is karate, Zoro is baseball, Sanji is swimming, Nami is tennis, uh, Frankie is basketball, Chopper is boxing, which that's great. Uh, I originally thought that I didn't know the sport, what it, what it was called, so I thought it was just horseback r uh, racing or whatever that Robin was doing. People actually uh, dressage. Me. Dressage. Yeah. It's a dressage. I was saying dressage. Yeah. No, dressage. <laughs> And uh, a lot of people corrected me because, like, it's a it's another kind of thing other than horseback riding, which fits yeah, Robin. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very fancy, very fancy, fancy, graceful kind of sport. Uh, mm -hmm. Usopp's doing like target shooting, and which Brooke Brooke is playing soccer or football. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Jinbei was not well. He was a straw hat, but he wasn't a straw hat yet. He so wasn't a straw at this point. So yeah. we'll be we'll be covering Jinbei today. We'll be covering but... Jinbei. <laughs> But I just wanted to include that so everybody knew, like, that Oda kind of already did this before and how we're going to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And, of course, skateboarding's involved now. I think I have almost different ones for everyone. Here. Yeah, I do as well. <laughs> I, I like the idea of Frankie playing basketball and Zoro having the okay. three, the three ba uh, uh, baseball bats. Like, that's cool. Before we get into anything. Yes. What is, is, is a devil fruit a performance enhancing drug? Are they allowed uh, to use their devil okay. fruits in the Olympics? You know what? That actually is the perfect, perfect segue, because we're just going to go in order with the Straw Hats. So we're going to start with Luffy, and yes. I put, he's karate here, but I went with gymnastics because he's made of freaking of rubber. rubber. <laughs> he's made of rubber. I watched well, a gymnastics thing this morning, and it was really cool, but I'm like, Luffy would just knock them all out of the water, right? But, but also, but also, basketball. He just... Yeah, puts it in. <laughs> he just like stretch, dunk. You That's know, what I had. Full I had court shot. Basketball. You know, um, it would be like a uh, um, Michael Jordan from Slam, from Space Jam. Space Jam. There you go. He yeah. he, he stretched. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but is it legal to use devil fruit abilities in the Olympics? Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Um, but like, yeah. is it a performance enhancing drug? Because it is something that they took to make them better at stuff I, so mean, I mean i mean to be fair though the performance enhancing drugs like they willingly take that luffy didn't know he was just he thought yeah, it was okay. a regular no no no, no 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 true <laughs> but if someone was performing at the olympics and had been like and someone had forced performance enhancing drugs into them without their knowledge they still would be disallowed from the medal if they won i love like, how this is the first conversation <laughs> we have about performance enhancing drugs the in the fact olympics that they're like it's the fact that they have the drug yeah. that's enhancing their performance, True. not how it got there. Okay, so how about, well, because, you know, not every straw hat has a devil fruit, so we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, but I guess we can talk about, like, if, if it is we could okay just do, and if it's yeah, not okay. Yeah, we could just okay. do two you know? situations. So if, if he can use stretching, basketball puts it in. Yeah. If he can't, then something like, you know, so something like a there was a sport smoke. listed called, uh, I played it before, handball. Didn't think it would be at the Olympics, but handball's yeah, a thing. Of course. And it's like a rubber ball that you bounce back against a wall. Luffy's made of rubber, so I just thought that was an immediate <laughs> go-to. <laughs> it's not even that he'd be good at it. He just no, feels it's like just, a yeah. connection to rubber. Yeah, okay. Or, and this kind of does go back to the Devil Fruit thing, there is a uh, climbing aspect to this. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> straight yeah, to the sp top. Sport climbing. I just have, I have a list next to me, and... And uh, so, yeah, uh, so I'm, I don't know, like gymnastics or basketball, if devil fruit is applicable, if not mm -hmm. handball, there we go. There, there you go. Because <laughs> uh, there's no competitive like pie eating contest in the Olympics or anything nope. like that. Um, although skateboarding's this year, maybe by 2030, we'll have competitive like hot dogs. You know, the contest. Olympics used to have tug of war. I have heard of this. Yes, I have heard of this. It doesn't have tug of war Wasn't anymore. Wasn't that one of the original ones, like in the like the time of like the? Uh, I think it the, definitely yeah. was in like Greek uh, yeah, Olympics, Greeks, but yeah. I'm still talking about modern Olympics. Modern right, Olympics yeah. had tug of war, mm. like in the early 1900s, and okay. it doesn't anymore. I, I think that'd that. just be fun. Yeah, that would be great. So that that's Luffy uh, being made of rubber, kind of cheats the system a lot there. Um, but uh, oh, by the way, hockey. Hockey w isn't really a drug, though. Hockey is just like is part of the yeah. yeah. I'd say you'd have to allow hockey. Because hockey is just kind of like it's like in our world when you train really well, you could kind of perceive things better. Not quite to the superhuman level within One Piece, but like you know, time slows down because you're like a really. But that's the second question, actually. Yeah. Is it is it the One Piece characters competing in our world or in the One Piece universe where they have the Olympics? Because they wouldn't have hockey if they existed in our world. Because yes, hockey doesn't exist in yes, our world. Does. Yes, it does. 
<laughs> you cannot see into the future using observation rustage. Come on now. I'm sorry, Teching. You were right. Um, but all right, all right. I'm gonna assume I I want to kind of keep Devil Fruit, and also by that logic, they wouldn't be as strong as they are in One Piece World if they got brought into our world, because you know. Zoro can, like, bench press a truck, Rustich. You know, <laughs> like, you can't do that in our world, right? Um, but I'm, I'm just gonna say it's the One Piece world, so hockey and okay. devil fruits are still uh, active. So totally let's, let's roll with that. Yeah, well, they'll go with that. It is allowed. That is a preface for the Olympics. You are allowed devil fruits. Um, so, moving on, though, to Zoro. So, Zoro... I mean, you just said, because I literally... you Everyone is, assumes sword-related stuff. Yes, right? yes. But I put him down weightlifting. Me too! That's... Me too! Yeah. I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, weightlift I saw weightlifting at the very bottom of the list, and I'm like, oh, that's yeah. Zoro. Just, you know? just what he does. That's because literally he all he does. Yeah. I don't think he would do fencing, because no, that's no. not his style. Um, I mean, Brooke, and... Brooke is fencing. I mean, he's yeah, an actual we, I put fencer. Brooke down for yeah, yeah, I, I mean, put Brooke down for fencing. We... I wanted sk skateboarding first, but, you know, fencing to be obvious, I suppose. Obviously, Brooke yeah. would be the fencing guy, but yeah. Zoro, just weightlifting. He just, woof. Yeah, lifts a truck. He would. He would I win. also. Yeah. I also put Garp down for weightlifting. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Garp would be great at weightlifting. I mean, there's so many characters in One Piece that would be great at weightlifting. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's fair. You know, but you know, Zoro, we see him do it all the time. Um, there's also uh, rowing contests, and so just oh. because like the upper arm strength that he has, just has so that. Just rowing down the the stream or whatever. Yeah. No yeah, well, One Piece um, character that would be like like a proficient rower mm -hmm. yeah one piece rower is there is there like a um there's a man called rowing from the it, rogers pirates uh from the what from rogers pirates from rogers pirates okay. rowing was a member of rogers pirates is a cruise dissolution i His haven't i haven't memorized all of their names yet but okay <laughs> Sure, we'll go with that. I'll put a picture of him up there. This this man right here will be the he champion of rowing. He wins the rowing competition. Yes. Because his name's Rowing. Yes, of course. That's how you do it. Like, if your name is, you know, Tennis, you know, you're, yeah. you will be automatically great at is Tennis. There, is yeah. there a character called Tennis? I would not no. be surprised in the slightest. There, but No, no, there, like, there somewhere in the world, there is probably someone that has the first name of Tennis. You know, I don't I doubt don't... that in the slightest. Um, because, be you know, celebrities especially name their kids, like, weird stuff sometimes, so I could see, yeah. Um, also, as, like, sort of, uh, an, it, it, not very likely, but I just thought it would be hilarious, Zoro, uh, golfing, because golfing is a thing. Oh! And so, just, he just walks onto the course, you know, he's got, a an open face, you know, the club in his mouth, and then the putters, and then just, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And then I, just, I, I was like, "All right, that you are disqualified, but that was awesome." What about what about Shiru Sh Shiru Shiryu, for rowing yeah. because he was on Death's Row? Ah, that's why I brought you on because of the <laughs> puns <laughs> alone. Yeah. <laughs> so he's always got to do his yeah. On death. Okay. But and any right. swordsman would probably be really good at the rowing contest. To be honest with you. Yeah. Um, really well. But yeah, I mean, there was a One Piece, but with the baseball thing, I mean, there was like, I think a One Piece, I don't know if, it, I don't think it was an OVA, I think it was a thing that played before a movie way back in the day or something, where there was like a baseball special. And I think there oh, was like a video sense. game about it too. It's like the idea is like Zoro. I mean, has... Zoro would be good at baseball. I mean, yeah, he would just like constantly, like he would just hit him out of hit, the park. Hit, out, hit him out of the park. He's got yeah. that precision and skill, totally. That's Zoro. Uh, moving on to Nami now. Uh, she was playing tennis in Oda's uh, version. There. I wonder if you put it. I, I I kind of came up with an interesting one here. What, what what was yours? Okay, so there is an option for sailing in the Olympics, and I'm yes. like Nami Wind is a sailing. navigator. I mean, come yeah. on now. I mean that would be perfect. But I also put down just swimming in general, uh, because because there was a scene in Punk Hazard when Sanji was in Nami's body and she was underwater and she could swim like her body was capable of swimming super fast. So that's wow, just yeah. where the idea came from. Yeah, I, I actually put down surfing because okay. of her, her proficiency with like the, the waiver. Uh, with, the wa with the waiver, yeah. Yes, yes. I didn't think so, of that. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Whoa. <laughs> that's why you're here. Oh, yes. Yeah. When I did the ice cream video, Rustage, there were so many comments like, I can't believe you didn't think of this for Brooke or something. Oh, like, oh it's I, so thought you said, I thought you were going to say, yeah. I thought you were going to say there were so many comments which were like, I can't believe you didn't get Rustage here. Um, when, when if I was on the ice cream video, I would have said pistachio ice cream for all of them because it's the best ice cream. I've never had pistachio ice cream. My mom loves pistachios. Oh. I've never had pistachio ice cream. My listen, I just I dream of being like on holiday. I have a waffle with pistachio ice cream and I have a glass of pineapple juice and I'm happy. 
<laughs> okay? Um, that's, I mean, my dream is, you know, the sound of music, you know, those beautiful mountains in like the Swiss Alps yeah. or whatever. I dream of just sitting at a table, sipping coffee, and I don't even like coffee, but I'm just sitting, sipping coffee in the Swiss Alps and just like a beautiful <laughs> backdrop here. Let's go to the Swiss Alps Let's together. Let's go to the Swiss Alps, Let's Rustich, go. come on. It's, it's just right around the corner You can me. come visit Appalachia and then I'll come visit the Swiss Alps, which I don't know yeah, how far that is yeah. from England, probably... I don't know, a train ride. It's just a train yeah, ride I, over to the Swiss I could Alps. Take a train. I could co I've been I've I've been to the Alps. I've skied oh many my times. God, that's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, come on. I li I live in the mountains. I've never even There's a ski resort not far from where I lived. I've never skied. I've never uh, snowboarded. Oh, you should ski. It's fun. I want I want to go. Oh, I'm sheltered. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I like the waiver idea because it was mentioned like the waiver's really, really hard to control. It's like and she could just do it. She could just do it. And it's like a jet ski. So if you can jet ski, you can surf, obviously, I, right? Yeah. Those two are connected. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think Nami would be good at surfing. Yeah, I think she would be as well. It's Usopp and then Sanji. But Sanji, I think, has the most events that I thought he would be good at at once. Well, obviously football. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, as obviously I did not put football. football down there, but okay. You put, did you put soccer down? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't put anything down. I didn't put soccer or football down. At, well, I say so. It's one more. I kept thinking of more and more stuff Sanji would be good at. Um, but over, I mean, he's good at the foot sport. See, this is he, like like Rustage. This is why you're here because I overthink things all the time. Wait, I wait, wait. If I wasn't here and you made this video, I you would have gone through Sanji and you wouldn't have mentioned football. No, he's got a special that he does. <laughs> he's actually played football. He kicked the ball around the world. Yeah, I know, Sanji. No, I reference Sanji. it in my Sanji rap. I know. In the, in the monster trio. I put. I reference I put. Oh, oh you died for a moment there. I am oh. coming back. Okay, I'm coming I, back. I put Taekwondo down because yeah, Taekwondo, Taekwondo is, is a foot. That's why I overthink things. Like, oh, Taekwondo that involves your legs. Sanji, yeah. obviously, that's his martial art. That's his thing. And I overthink the most obvious one right there in my face, which is yeah. football. You, you idiot. Did you put down. <laughs> did you put down cycling? No! <laughs> he they uses their feet! <laughs> I put... Okay, you know what? Is. We're skipping over Usopp right now. We're just gonna go ahead with Sanji. We'll get to Usopp no, after. No, no. For Sanji, I, I, for Sanji, I put at... down... I put down swimming, surfing, diving, triathlon, gym... Okay, triathlon... Is that is, that, is cycling, that cycling? And run. Okay, there's an element that, to that. Yeah. There is an element right, to that. Right. And then gymnastics, and then taekwondo, and then uh, that was yeah, it honestly for Sanji. just sprint. There you go. Hundred meter sprint. He's a yeah. leg boy. Yeah, there anything you go. to do with his legs. Hundred um, meter sprint. Two hundred meter sprint. Yeah, there's marathon swimming. He'd be good at that. I mean, like, yeah. pretty much like hockey. Not hockey. Hockey. Which a lot of people hockey. say I always pronounce hockey as hockey. 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 Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's really easy to yeah. Um, but, uh, so did you have Sasanji down for football is the most obvious? Obviously. The most <laughs> Obviously, because you're a normal you... human being. <laughs> you know, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I mean, Sanji diving, uh, because, you know, he you know he has the blue walk technique. He was, like, under the ocean, and he was being able to dive because uh, he doesn't have a devil fruit, so he could just, you know, his yeah, yeah, leg yeah. strength is out of this world. Um, there was no cooking contest, unfortunately. No. Uh, but I think we've covered all of all of the contests that would involve leg strength in the slightest. Sanji uh, would take away. Maybe trampolining. Okay, I put chopper down as trampolining because it just seemed <laughs> we'll get like there. we'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. Okay, yeah, going back to there. Usopp now. All right, so first off, Usopp in the One Piece thing was target shooting. I, I missed it at first, and then I did see that, um, well, there's archery, yeah. which is what I put him down initially, because archery is, like, the closest thing, but there is a uh, shooting contest in the Olympics. I just, I just yes, missed it. Yes, there's I multiple shooting contests. But uh, yeah. the thing is, yeah, Usopp would be best at shooting, but he doesn't ever really use guns. He, he uses not guns. So, Rustage, <laughs> did you, uh, well, no, okay, there was a filler episode during Logtown where he was going up against this marine sniper guy. And oh, I don't yeah, think he's, filler, I, think he was, I think he was, a, well, it was in a light novel that was written by Oda. And Oda okay, did originally, Oda did want this character to be in Logtown, but he just didn't have time because he had to get to the yeah. Grand Line as quickly as possible. So yeah. I think he was in a contest with this sniper. And basically the contest was, I think they used guns initially. And then, yeah. you know, instead uh, at the end of the episode, it was like, shoot that weather vane like two miles away. And Usopp chose to use his slingshot instead. And he did it. Um, yeah and, and that was the idea so yeah i don't know how good he would be i feel like using guns yasop uses guns i was I gonna like... say just have yasop down, down for it yeah yeah yasop or ben beckman who are both snipers would be or van auger on blackbeard's crew 
yeah. would all be great at the sniping contest, at the target shooting contest. But thinking outside the box here, table tennis. What do you think? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I don't know why. I just picture Usopp just, being really good at ping pong. Him, yeah. <laughs> picture him ping ponging. Ping ponging. Um. What did you put outside of the... Uh, yeah. Well, you know what I'd put down? Uh, this is not to do with Usopp, but because I thought of it. Uh, archery, uh, Omatsuri from the sixth uh, One Piece movie. <laughs> oh my god. The sixth... You bring up the sixth One Piece movie. I still need to review that one. That's the one everybody wants me to talk about. Have, now. You, have you seen it? I've watched it, yes. It's just I have to, you know, get all the stuff ready. And I just keep putting it off. But uh, well, he, is, uses, I... he uses a bow and arrow. Yeah. And so I was just like... Fuck it, it he's it, the archery guy. There you go. And it, that movie, by the way, is dark as hell, with probably the Great. darkest One Piece movie easily. Uh, and the animation's Excellent. very different. But um, yeah, I also put down uh, BMX and skateboarding as an option, uh, just because I could I could just picture Usopp like riding a bike, skateboarding. I, I could picture him doing a lot of stuff, honestly. Uh, <laughs> he's kind of like the jack of all trades a lot in the Straw Hats. Sorry, uh, actually, no. Can we can we run everything back a second? Yes, we're going to get a lot of angry messages about this what? from Luffy. Yeah, boxing, obviously. See, right there, it, that took us a while. <laughs> all right, <laughs> but he has to have an afro. He's he's boxing yeah yeah power with the afro, of, obviously, of course. But then yeah. obviously boxing. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my God. It's, he's that's the one sport he has done against Foxy. Foxy could also be Foxy. Like he was a boxer at one point, and it was revealed in a Viva card that he actually lost his license because boxing yeah, yeah, licenses yeah. are a thing in the One Piece universe. But yeah, boxing for Luffy. I think over handball, that's a good option. Yeah, we already did Sanji. Moving on to Chopper. So he was a boxer in Oda's version, but I put him on his trampolining. Trampolining would just be fun because it just sounds so fun, and that seems like Chopper's like if you if you listed every single event and like okay, Chopper, what do you want to be? trampolining would be the first like i want to be a trampoline <laughs> you know there you go i'm trying to think of like he could just be good in wrestling just because he goes big yeah PowerPoint. yeah there's different versions even the weightlifting with his heavy point uh, alone would be yeah. decent um and then and then like a hundred meter dash when he's in speed point totally he could do hurdles oh yeah and he could do long jump it would uh, be really yeah, fun i could just point. see him going into guard point in trampolining and just bouncing up and down like i like between two trampolines in guard point like as a giant like fluffy ball like, yeah that would be pretty funny um all right so that's chopper now we have robin and robin uh was in doing the dressage or the dressage sorry i put her down for tennis okay uh and because just hand things. Yeah. Uh, I, I put her volleyball. As gym, gymnastics in that regard as well. Like she could be a volleyball team on her own, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Volleyball, uh, tennis, badminton. Maybe, I don't know. That's just what I feel. It's, that's the vibe I get. Don't mention vibe badminton. I get Robin. <laughs> don't mention badminton? I dislocated my shoulder playing badminton. <laughs> oh, no. You were, you were not worthy. <laughs> it's badminton, too. Like, not to you... say, like, it's not a very, I mean, okay, it's a serious sport, you know, if you're a pro, yeah. but it's not like football, like you're slamming into, well, American football, where you're like slamming into other people and stuff, uh, where you think you could get injured. But in high school, yeah, I was playing badminton, I stretched out my arm to like hit the birdie, and I just kind of moved my arm at the same time, and it popped out, and then I fell, and when I hit the ground, it got popped back in. So I get back up, and I'm like, what the what the hell just happened? It was, yeah. the, it was the first time it ever happened. I never, I've dislocated it before, after a few times. Um, but that's kind of um, where it started. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Have you ever played any sports? Not like when I say competitively, I mean, even like in school or in like, you know, college or anything. Have you ever? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've never Most... played any. So what have you liked? Well, badminton. <laughs> badminton. There you go. Okay. And you didn't I dislocate like your shoulder. Yeah, I didn't just look at my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, badminton is what I like. I mean, I don't really play sports anymore because all I do is make music. Um, but music in school, is a sport, Rustage. Music is a sport. In school, I liked badminton okay. a lot. And I guess skiing. Yeah, I, by the way, with Robin, yeah, I think just the uh, gymnastics or volleyball, but the dressage, I think, works best for her. So I just I mean, I guess that there. Yeah. handball only because it's got hand. Oh, yeah, because it has hand in the title, you know, once yeah. again. And it's like, if, if you, if this was in the One Piece world and you knew all the competitors, whoever goes up against Robin for any of these, you just be like, I, I, I concede. I quit. I'm not <laughs> even going to, like, bother. Like, playing volleyball with Robin, like, she's literally the entire team. There's no point, you know? yeah um 
So moving on to Frankie, he played basketball, which is a good option in Oda's version. But I got to go. That's the one I went with boxing or wrestling because yeah, boxing I mean, or wrestling he's a big sure. guy, you know. But he's also a robot. How does oh, that work? Oh, God. How do you even? Is that legal? Yeah. Well, there's a thing like people have talked about, like the augmented... would he Would he technically be part of the Paralympics? I don't know. I feel like, okay, this is what I think augmented humans are becoming more and more of a possibility i mean they kind of already exist like they're making like artificial hearts that can like yeah, pump, yeah, yeah. like pump better than a human heart and clean themselves and stuff so that's the thing that's already in development so i think like 20 30 years in the future we might have like the regular olympics para olympics and we might have like a special new kind of olympics that are like for cyborg humans <laughs> you know <laughs> maybe you know cyborg enhanced olympics yeah what? where it's like i got special legs that can jump like 50 feet in the air let me test them against <laughs> your cyborg legs that can jump 50 feet in the air you know? but that's literally less like a sport thing and more like robo it wars. would be more of robo war it would be more for like well the olympics are entertainment as well but it wouldn't be so much for like that mm -hmm. it would be more of just like let's watch a shit ton of cyborgs all do cyborg stuff. Oh, I mean, do that cyborgs. would be awesome. You know, if we had like grappling arms at that point or like laser cannons. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe a little bit too ahead of our time in just a few decades, but who knows? <laughs> laser cannons. You know, okay. go, go back a hundred years. You know, the internet didn't exist and look where we are now. A hundred years in the future, we might have cyborg wings and, and everything, jet boosters. Absolutely. So, um, Fair enough. Bottom line, Frankie would be good at boxing. Judo? <laughs> judo, um, I put Jinbei for Judo. Um, Whoa. Yeah. I, I think the obvious one for Jinbei. So, which, correct, me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but for Frankie for Judo, um, Judo is mostly like grappling techniques and like holds and stuff, yeah. right? Okay, I was yeah. right about that. I could see him doing that, yeah. Okay. The obvious one for Jinbei, I don't know if you put this down. <laughs> we'll see. But But it's swimming? <laughs> Yes. He's, he's that, a okay. Man. Yeah, I went with swimming or any of like the marathon, oh, marathon swimming. Karate. Yes, oh, that was karate. the next one. That was the next one. Like, swimming, all the swimming or diving based events followed immediately by all of the. I don't know about arts. diving. Don't know about diving, actually. Why? Don't know about diving. Because diving's not really an aquatic sport. It just ends in the water. It, it's, it's a sky activity. It's okay. all, about, it, all about what you do before you hit the water. Your ability to be in that water doesn't matter so whatsoever. So, Rustage, uh, I'm an idiot because the entire time I've been picturing diving in the Olympics was like literally putting on a diving suit and going, I don't know, doing doing like sports, like running and stuff underwater. <laughs> what? <laughs> because I have the mind of a child and... <laughs> I just remember. No, I know what actual diving is now. That's just my brain overthinking and going to that. So yes, um, in that in that case, diving. I still think Jinbei would be good at it because um, he's in the water so. a lot. But no, it's right. not a water sport. <laughs> you hit the water, but it doesn't matter. Like once you're in the water, okay. you could fucking okay. drown. What it is, wouldn't matter. What is diving like? Okay, how is you it... jump off the board? No, no, no. And then I... you do fun flips <laughs> in the know. air. Okay, so the flips. That's what is actually yeah. ranked by it's the judges. It's closer. Yeah, right. it's. And then obviously the entry into the water, but once you're in the water, you know you're in the water. Okay. <laughs> doesn't matter how good you are in the water. You. So it's more of a tumbling based sport, if anything. It's, it's more like it's more like rhythm gymnastics. Okay. Yeah. I, I know what you're talking about now. I know what diving is. That was just my brain being all discombobulated there. Um, okay. I guess he wouldn't be that perfect at that. But no. something I did put in, aside from the swimming and martial art abilities, are uh, rugby. You know, Ooh. I think he'd be good at rugby. He's a big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You he's know? a big And fella. he's fine on land. And wrestling. And, the, and yeah. wrestling and all that kind of stuff there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. We missed Brooke. We have to go to Brooke now, of course, to end it out. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, because we skipped from Frankie to Jinbei. But, yeah, um, thank you for explaining to me the concept of what diving is because yeah. uh, <laughs> my brain was really working overtime on that one. Um, that was one I feel like if I did this video by myself, I would eventually catch it at some point. Like, wait a second. This doesn't sound wait right. Wait a second. That nah, doesn't sound right. That should be a thing, though. They need to add some new sports. Uh, so, Brooke. So, fencing was the obvious one. He yeah. did football in Oda's version. But... I just, as I said, the idea of a skate, a rad skateboarding skeleton is just too awesome to pass up. So would it, would it count like, 
because they do the fun twicks in the air. Yeah. Uh, would it would it count like if he like his head came off like it is in this picture? Uh, imagine. Would okay. that like give him extra points? Think about what you just said. You are a judge for the skateboarding contest at the Olympics. A skeleton walks up with a board. <laughs> Okay, and he's doing flips and shit. And as a finish, he does like a a, a 1290 or whatever, because he's light. He has no weight, basically. The air goes right through him if he's if he's not wearing a shirt. It's just like uh, the air resistance mm -hmm. is perfect. So he's flipping in the air, and then he tosses his head. And as he hits the ground and dismounts, his head lands back on his uh, neck. And like, would you not give him extra points for that? Like, come on. You brought up a really good point about his weight, actually. Yeah. I wonder if the fact that, that was the whole reason I put it also. Well, I wonder if that's a bad thing because mm. you do, he doesn't have the weight to like kick off the. Uh... I'm not sure how skating works. I can't talk about <laughs> it. But I imagine. I, don't I imagine. Either. I imagine if you're relatively weightless, you can't really put the force into the skateboard to actually do the tricks. Well, Rustage, I gotta tell you, I was keeping this to the end. I'm glad we did Brooke at the very end here because I actually have somebody else that's going to be joining us on this call. I present to everybody skateboarding legend Tony Hawk. I actually tweeted at I, I tweeted him. We talked. We actually got this going on. Let me pull him into the call right now. I did not get Tony Hawk. No. <laughs> I thought you know. I thought you might have tweeted at him and he responded. Tony Hawk seems like I didn't even try, but he seems like a guy that would. You know, he seems yeah. like, I've seen a few, he's done a few Wired autocomplete interviews and talking about skating and interviews and stuff, and that's all I know about skating is just from watching those, but he seems like a cool dude that'd be like, hey, you want to do this, I don't know if you've ever read One Piece, but it's a <laughs> Japanese manga about pirates with superpowers, and we want to talk about them hypothetically skating, <laughs> so... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, when I'm editing this, I'm going to put in, like, just a picture of Tony Hawk when I introduce him. So just for a moment, people are like, holy crap, he actually got him! And then they realize it's just a photo. Like, I'll put in a gif of Tony Hawk really quick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That'll be fun. But anyway, god. yeah. Um, I would imagine, okay, Brooke, with, like, his weight not being able to kick off and stuff, so... Brooke apparently can do most things that he could when he was a human. Like, he can lift things. He doesn't have a problem lifting things because he's a skeleton. Um, yeah. He could do pretty much everything he could do when he was a human. So I would imagine his base strength is about the same. So, okay. yeah. It's just he would, um, like I said, if he was if he was naked, if he wasn't wearing any clothing, I mean, it would just, you know, the air would just go right through him. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, fencing too, I suppose. <laughs> fencing is definitely the obvious one for Brooke. So, those are the Straw Hats. I didn't really write down any other characters, but did you have anybody else that you wanted to No, mention? it was all, it's honestly just like I I saw a sport when I was thinking about it. I'd be like, ah, oh, you know what? Bellamy would be good at basketball because he's springs. Yeah, yeah, he has the springs. That's obvious. Foxy with the boxing, honestly. Yeah, I had um, with weightlifting. Is there anything... What would Doflamingo be good at? Anything involving string... I mean, gymnastics or... Um... Yeah, rhythm gymnastics. Oh, tennis. He literally can, he can make his own tennis racket probably out of his hands pretty much yeah but know. does that make him good at tennis yes it does. just because you can just because you can manufacture the equipment for the sport doesn't make you good at the my sport. anime superpower is i can Love summon them. i could summon volleyballs wherever i go that doesn't, mean, <laughs> that doesn't mean i'm automatically good at volleyball it just means i can yeah. summon volleyballs yeah, you could just make the volleyballs <laughs> they wouldn't be legal for play as, as a side even though i dislocated my shoulder playing badminton i i think uh volleyball was like my least favorite sport to play at least in school i like i like to play it with like my friends if we go to the beach or like at a park or something but in school i feel like we played it all the time in like a gymnasium and i just i, I just i didn't it like it I, I just didn't find it that was the least favorite thing for me to do i wish i played volleyball in school ah damn did you play Enjoy dodgeball it. is that a thing that's a very American thing. That is a very, I, it sounds like a very American thing. We don't thing. really have that. Do you ever hear of a thing called Gator Ball? Why do I sound like this is like the intro to like a really shitty sports movie? Or like a, like a, and you're a Gator Ball starring to... Keanu Reeves and Owen Wilson. Yeah. What a team up. Keanu Reeves and Owen Wilson. But um, no, Gator Ball, I don't know if it's an actual sport or just a sport invented by my gym teacher, because I think it might have been. But so the idea was you get two traffic cones, like regular orange traffic cones, and then you yeah. balance basketballs on these cones. And then okay. so so both teams kind of picture just like a basketball court. So there's two on one side, two on the other, kind of like goalposts with basketballs on top of these traffic cones. OK, and then 
you have yeah. a volleyball or a dodgeball or whatever, and the goal is to throw it and knock off both of your opponent's basketballs off these traffic cones. So you okay. kind of have to pass a ball, weave out, and you have a goalie that's going to, like, block the ball. Uh, it says here, Gator Ball is an activity used by the military to improve cardiovascular fitness and eye-foot-hand coordination. Is it, what you... what, is it what I've just described to you? The object of the game is to throw or kick a gator skin ball into basketballs that set atop coins. There so, you yes. go! There you go! Okay, he didn't invent you... it. <laughs> you are being drafted into the military. They want to put no, you actually, in the army. You know what? Picturing my old uh, gym teacher now, he actually, I, I could see him as like being, you know, former special forces or something. Like he had that <laughs> air about him. All right. Well, anything you want to end on before we go? Uh, I'm releasing an album in September. What's it called, Rustage? Or don't you know yet? I don't know. The The tentative title is Overflow. That... Someone told me there's a hentai called Overflow. So that's why uh, I'm a little yeah, bit... You want to do a little bit of research before you pick it, you know, just so. So I don't know I don't know if that should stop me or not. I mean, I don't think Could it help. would. I mean, I feel like... I, I'm sure... Are there, are there uh, other albums named Overflow? I'm sure there would have to be. Maybe maybe there are albums. I mean, Overflow. I mean, music is pretty Album. diverse and has been around for a while. I feel like everything is an album title at some point, you know? Yeah, I think there are a few albums called Overflow. But I but like it. And if it's like, like if me. it's something personal to you that you've wanted for, like, you know, that's, like, the name of your album, go for it, you know? Because I was going to make an album, like, 20, like, 17 or 18, and then I scrapped it because oh. I was too busy working on YouTube stuff, and that was going to call Overflow. But... I just call it the same thing. Um, yeah, and it's just it's just only just because it's like the overflow of shit coming out of my brain. Mm. There you go. But I think it works. And also the overflow because you were going to do it when you were like 17 and it like overflowed to 23. Yeah. There you go. And also there's that the whole thing because flow is something with rap. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. And I'm overflow because I'm rapping a lot. Is there going to so. be a hyphen or a space in between the over and the flow? No, it's just one word. Just neither. one word. Overflow. Okay. Overflow. It's a word. Well, check that out coming this September to a record store near you. Later, thank you everyone. For being, thank you for being you. And never stop being yourself. Never stop being yourself. you're special. Make your dreams come true. If you want to make an album, you make an album. If you want to talk yeah. about Straw Hats ice cream flavors, you do that too. You do that. All right, later. Worth is made up by, <laughs> by society. Just do what you enjoy. And, you, and you, have, you have worth because you are who you are. I'm ending it there. I'm putting sappy music <laughs> over that, and I'm ending it there.